Big Fall uh, rivalry match. First off, they didn't send out uh, Squire. Did not wrestle. Didn't make weight. Uh, you beat. You know, you. I don't know if you've ever lost Ohio. You. You've had a pretty good career record against them. But how does it feel to pick up the win and uh, get the Grudge Match trophy? Uh, it feels great. I mean, we've had kind of a rough start so far this season, but you know, really coming out and being know you and great, great crowd too, and rivalry and finally getting that Grudge Match back, the trophy. So that's exciting. You know, being like a nine through fifteen guy and like a lot of the rankings. Uh, you know, what do you got to do to punch through? I know we're so March focused. You guys have had a rough dual season. You've been kind of the bright spot, you know, on the team. You're top 20 the whole year. But what do you got to do? What, what needs to change for you in St. Louis, you know, from now to St. Louis? You know, maybe win a MAC title, you know, in, in Columbia, Missouri. But, you know, what's got to change for Mac McGuire? Uh, definitely to stay focused. I know this part of the season, it's just back-to-back -back weigh-in, so it's kind of a grind. But this year especially, I've been pretty healthy. And my weight's been good, so hopefully I'm going to carry that all the way to March and come to the national title and represent. Southern Scuffle, how great of a test is that for you? You're a two-time placer for Southern Scuffle now. You know, how well does that prepare you for an NCAA tournament? Uh, pretty good, just because it gets you through the grind. I think I wrestled like eight matches, all real tough kids, so it kind of gets you in that repetition of wrestling solid kids after solid kid. And I know we didn't really have the best showing there, nobody okay not very, not very many interviews and uh, you know this one you got you, you strap up a cradle and you went at it right in the first period yeah. do you know you had the fall there yeah I uh, will uh, obviously going out there but I know we needed big points Tracy said uh, you know one of us needed to get some big points some bonus points and it was just there can't really say I forced the cradle but just came up with the single is this, uh, do you think this rivalry means more to Ohio guys? You're a PA guy, you're from Pittsburgh. Does this mean more to the Ohio guys than it does you? Uh, yeah, but there's no real like rivalry between Kent and a PA team, so just being here third year, you kind of learn to get into the whole Ohio rivalry. And, I mean, I'm not, Ohio State is not much for me just because I'm from PA, but definitely OU is a big one because Jimmy stresses it how much he loves just to beat him and it's kind of almost a tradition. I know we've won the last 11 years and lost last year, but it's great to finally beat him again. As far as team, has this been the high point of the season in team results for you guys? Yeah, I mean we've had some injuries and we're not as healthy, healthy as we should be. I know this Ian's like sixth match back, so hopefully this momentum will just carry us through the rest of the season. You got anything else for me? You got family here. I'll let you go talk to them. Yeah. Thanks for the time. Congratulations on the fall tonight. Thank you.